I know you've been hankering for a snack today, and some of you are thinking something like this. Twizzlers or something sugary. Dr. Erica Martin is here with Doctor's Orders. Doc, I know there's got to be a better option. Yep, absolutely. I find that a lot of patients, uh, well, people in general, because we're all human, right. we all tend to crave <laughs> snacks in the afternoons because okay. we're kind of tired. We've been stressed out during the day. Um, and so our body instantly is like, I want carbohydrates. I want sugar. Sure. Um, and so... Yeah, okay, sometimes you can have Twizzlers, that's all right. <laughs> but ideally, on a more day-to-day -day basis, we're having something like blueberries that are a little bit sweet, but also give you a lot of fiber, a lot of vitamin C. Okay. Um, now so you that's said really important. this particular thing, a sugar like this, is more of a carbohydrate? Well, it's just, it's a different kind of carbohydrate. So with blueberries, in addition to the kind of naturally occurring sugar, you have fiber, which slows the digestion of that sugar into your bloodstream, basically. Whereas with Twizzlers, it's almost like mainlining right. sugar into oh, your bloodstream. No wonder yes. I love it so much, right? Yep. But what if I'm hankering for one of these? So a similar situation now, granted uh, Hershey's bar has a little bit more fat in it. So oh. theoretically, theoretically you're d um, kind of digesting it a little bit slower. But again, if you're having a, a hankering for something sweet, reach for something on a more daily basis, like you know an apple or some other kind of fruit. Again, you've still got a little bit of sugar in there naturally occurring, but you've got tons of fiber, again, that slows that digestion down um, and makes you feel a little bit more satisfied. Okay, I mean, yeah. I really would rather have this. And I thought cocoa was supposed to be good for you, but how about one of my favorites? Snickers, because it's got a little bit sweet, that little salty. Salty, yeah. yeah. So, um, and salty cravings are super common as well. Um, and so listening to your body and finding something that might be a decent substitute. So um, peanut butter is a great option. Again, making sure that you know your portion sizes because the portion sizes are pretty small. Okay, um, but what is that the can portion be, size for that? So portion size is um, two tablespoons. And so a good rule of thumb, literally, is <laughs> you know the end of your uh, thumb, that's roughly like the size of a tablespoon. Oh. Oh, and I can have two of those. You a can day. have two of those. Yeah, I mean, again, everybody's caloric needs are a little bit different, yeah. but yeah, you know, a, a, one serving of peanut butter a day, I think, so is okay. So we want to have a power snack in the afternoon. Is that where you're saying keep that nutritional flow going in a good, exactly. in a good way? In the yeah, afternoon. exactly. The snack shouldn't be like an emotional snacking type situation. It should be like, I'm feeling hungry and I need something to fuel my body more appropriately. All right, Doc, I guess I'll get rid of these and I'll grab an apple next time. And those are your doctor's orders.